Maranatha, my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another Quick Bite, Living the Word. Today, our word is going to come from the Gospel of John, chapter 8, a story we've probably talked about, even possibly on our Quick Bites before. I know we've talked about it a lot uh, in the church and stuff like this, but I just want to, want to take time to remind you of this story this day. I don't know why it's heavy upon my heart for some people, and I'm, I just I think different lives I run into and things that people are dealing with. I just want to encourage you about something in particular this morning. So you remember the story in John chapter 8, one of the stories anyway, I should put it this way, is that they caught the woman in adultery. And they brought her to the feet of Jesus. And and uh, and basically they threw her down and cast her. It says they cast her down at Jesus' feet and said, what Moses' law, this is verse 5, sorry. And now Moses in the law command us that such should be stoned. But what sayest thou? And so they literally come to Jesus like, listen, here's this woman who we caught in the midst of adultery. Of course, they didn't bring the man, but they bring this woman before him, cast him down and say, what should we do with her? Moses said we should stone her, hoping that in essence, basically, that they could get him to have to say, well, that's what Moses says. That's what we should do. And in essence, showing his lack of compassion and probably would make a lot of people turn away from him. So what does Jesus do instead? Well, he doesn't break the law because we know he never broke the law. Jesus instead says to them, as they're tempting him, uh, they might be accusing him, he says, that he, he says there in verse 6 that he stooped down on the ground and began writing with his finger and just kind of ignored them all. And so they kind of kept pressing him, right, and continued to ask him. And so in verse 7, he stands up and he says, He that is without sin among you, let him be the first, let him cast, let, me, let him first cast a stone at her. So he gets up and basically says, here's the deal. If you can stand here right now in all your self-righteous and pretentiousness and act like you don't have an issue, then you go ahead and attack this woman. You go ahead and throw a stone. And, of course, then he stoops down and begins writing again. Now, as they heard this, it says that from the eldest to the youngest, they began to depart that not one of them raised a stone. Not one of them cast a stone at her because what were they doing? They were actually looking at examining their own hearts. You're right, I, I am really no different than this. And we know in else places, the Lord talks about what adultery really is. Adultery is if you've looked on someone with lust in your eyes, you've desired that which is not yours to desire, then you're an adulterer. So he does these things and, he, and he, as he's standing there, everybody departs, right? And then it says, and when Jesus lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, so none of that, there's nobody there but he and the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Hath no man condemned thee? So now, what a great question. And this is the question, this is what I want to talk about this morning for our own hearts. Those who would want to accuse us, I want you to hear the words of our Savior. Where are your accusers? Is there any accuser you have that, condemn, that can condemn thee? Because the truth of the matter is, and this is the thing we have to remember, that the only one who has the right to condemn us is the one who saved us. And she said, no man, no, no, no man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. That is the answer of our Savior. Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. This is really encouraging to me. Because sometimes in our lives, we have people who throw accusations at us, who want to condemn us for what we're thinking or what we say or, or, or the stances we're making. Or perhaps they want to condemn us for, you know, the, the decisions that we choose or things like this. And they want to sit there and accuse us and, and they, they get their little groups rallied up and, and kind of come at us. I see our Lord standing there looking at them and saying, listen, unless you can stand there appear before me, don't you dare accuse my servant. Don't you dare condemn them. I am the one who can condemn, and I don't condemn them. Go and sin no more. So today, be encouraged. No matter what comes against you, no matter what your heart, your mind, or the enemy may try to bring at you, remember it is Jesus Christ who condemns. And I hear him saying to you, neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. For those of us who trusted in the completed work of his cross. I love you. We love you. God loves you, and God's got this.